All these Walmart stores all across America are undergoing major changes, with hundreds facing permanent closures per the direct order of Walmart CEO Doug McMillan. After having seen heavy concentrations of loss, theft, stolen goods, internal loss, and reduction of revenues from thieves pillaging the stores as well as employees, management, and staff workers, ultimately having a negative impact in reduction of revenues, income, and profit. CEO McMillan warned on national television that stores will be closing and prices will increase, and we have seen just that happen. Thousands of workers and employees fired, laid off, terminated, and placed on unemployment insurance benefits during periods of record high inflation and total economic turmoil as we are on the brink of a recession. And the Fed, although in denial, is warning all Americans as well as the largest bank CEOs like Bank of America's Brian Moynihan urgently cautioning and warning the less fortunate of Americans financially to brace and prepare for a hard landing as a best case scenario and now fears of a no landing scenario taking over the number one spot as the worst case scenario and to be honest with you no matter which way this all ends up playing out i think there is a huge amount of concern that should be focused on what will actually happen when it is all settled and the dust clears not only are low income wage earners you know the folks just trying to survive on minimum wage alone and others gaining some stipend subsidized support from government welfare programs snap and ebt just sitting ducks lined up on the front lines and nervously and anxiously awaiting to be picked off by the Walmart firing squad. This impact will hit communities and the residences in these particular neighborhoods the hardest. Many of these major retail changes that we are seeing with companies like Walmart specifically are hitting particular neighborhoods more so than others. A pattern of relationship between the stores Walmart is deeming as underperforming and experiencing high levels of crime and theft closing down left and right. It is really alarming, folks, to say the least. And I have some shocking and breaking news, urgent information, updates about what Walmart has planned next that will really blow your mind as the Walton family-owned retail giant with deep ties rooted to China suppliers and talks of underground tunnels and tunneling systems and planned FEMA camps looks to put further links on the competition and distance themselves from their less desirable clientele who happen to be historically disenfranchised and underbanked, unbanked, and the last to be provided with the education and knowledge to even at the very least stay in the running with all others of particular privilege when it comes to the future of business, the economy, finances, money, savings, investing, building wealth, and achieving substantial personal net worth and building generational family wealth. I just want you all to know that I hear all your concerns, worries, and feel your pain, panic, and the anxiety is growing as we all want to know how to find out if, let's just say, a credit union in our local city or state is stable or not, and possibly planning on closing down for good and leaving us without financial access solutions and ultimately placing us all in banking deserts as drought concerns approach this spring and summer, much like we experienced last year in states like Arizona, New Mexico, California, Nevada, and Utah. Remember the whole Lake Mead fiasco and expectations of the central bank going down and going down fast. The possible risk of tanking credit scores and endless announcements after announcements tied to money at risk as many look to gold and other investments in stocks, crypto and other cash flow producing assets to further develop diversity, security and most importantly, cash flow. But I can assure you that this is so much bigger than they all want us to know or even be able to understand and comprehend. All these banks and businesses are moving quickly to wipe out so many of all these people with what they have planned. And I hate to say it, but if you're not in the know and staying informed, 
abreast and planning and preparing for the wave that is about to crash upon the shore, then sadly this may be the end for millions of all these people, and I highly doubt there will be much government aid and stimulus or support to help weather this storm. So for all those who procrastinate and don't heed the warnings, then their futures may not be so fortunate as the banks are all working together to bring forward a new era, a new regime, a great reset. And these giant retail corporations, CEOs and execs, they all know it. And the Fed and central banks around the world are gearing up. CBDC is getting the finishing touches and ESG is following up right behind it. Don't let them wipe you out because, folks, they are preparing to shut it all down. So, folks, listen up, because in addition to Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, Tuesday morning, CVS, Walgreens, and now major grocery store chains hitting the list, closing down stores in cities all across America, all of this will have a direct impact on all these people and for one very alarming and specific reason, and I'm pretty sure you all can guess what that is, too. However, if you are not sure, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is and also what I'm doing to prepare so my family and businesses don't get wiped out when the switch over takes place. Remember, folks, the FDIC leaked secrets that they really didn't want us to know about and the collapse is planned to happen on a Friday. So we must move quickly. No dilly dallying around, folks. So stay tuned because I'm going to tell you all about it and you're not going to want to miss any of what I have uncovered in doing my research and will share with you all in this video. And thank you all for joining in on today's video and tuning in for your daily dose of the truth. The truth about what matters to you most. And if you are new to the channel, my name is Kevin and welcome. On my channel, we discuss, investigate, plan and prepare for all things finance, money, economy, savings, investing, building wealth, building businesses, building YouTube channels and other monetized income streams, diverse income opportunities, passive income, CBDC, central bank digital currency, crypto, Bitcoin, BTC, Ripple, XRP, real estate, mortgage rates, the housing market, retirement, SSA, SSI, SSDI, EBT, SNAP, food stamps, welfare, government stimulus, and other welfare handouts, and so much more. So please inflate the like button and subscribe to the channel and help me reach the goal of hitting 70,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. You are all so very important because, folks, without you, none of this would be possible. And this all is yet another reason why I continue to diversify my portfolio and my investments because you never know what they're going to do next. And I want to make sure I have options. I hope you all are doing the same. I have included links in the description, 100% free, down below to Hard Assets Alliance. And I will tell you this, I sleep better at night knowing I have made the right choices for me and my family. They make it simple and easy to diversify and not only invest in one of the financially strongest precious metals, but more importantly, it isn't tracked in under 24-hour surveillance by you-know-who. Yeah. That's very concerning, folks. And let's be honest, you don't want to end up like Sri Lanka or Nigeria now, do you? So all these Walmart stores all across America are undergoing major changes with hundreds facing permanent closures per the direct order of Walmart CEO Doug McMillan. After seeing heavy concentrations of loss, theft, stolen goods, internal loss, a reduction of revenues, some actually being stolen and the theft occurring by employees working under the Walmart company brand, reductions of revenues, income, and profit. CEO McMillan warned on national television that stores will be closing and prices will increase, and we have seen just that happen. Thousands of workers and employees fired, laid off, terminated, and placed on unemployment insurance benefits during periods of record high inflation and total economic turmoil as we are on the brink of a recession. And the Fed, although in denial, is warning all Americans as well as the largest bank CEOs like Bank of America's Brian Moynihan, urgently cautioning and warning the less fortunate of Americans, albeit financially, to brace and prepare for a hard landing as a best case scenario and now fears of a no landing scenario taking over the number one spot as a worst case option. And to be honest with you, no matter which way this all ends up playing out, I think there's a huge amount of concern that should be focused on 
on what will happen when it's all settled and the dust clears. Not only are low income wage earners, you know, the folks just trying to survive on minimum wage and others gaining some stipends, subsidized support from government welfare programs, SNAP and EBT, just sitting ducks all lined up on the front lines and nervously and anxiously awaiting to be picked off by the Walmart firing squad. This impact will hit communities and residences in these particular neighborhoods the hardest. Many of these major retail changes that we are seeing with companies like Walmart specifically are hitting particular neighborhoods more so than others. A pattern of relationship between the stores Walmart is deeming underperforming, quote unquote, and experiencing high levels of crime and theft closing down left and right. Folks, it is really, really alarming. And I have some shocking and breaking information about what Walmart has planned next that will really blow your mind as the Walton family owned retail giant looks to put further links on the competition and distance themselves from their less desirable clientele who happen to be historically disenfranchised and underbanked, unbanked and the last to be provided with the education and knowledge to even at the very least stay in the running with all others of particular privilege when it comes to the future of business, the economy, finances, money, savings, investing, building wealth, and achieving substantial personal net worth and building generational family wealth. So what do they have planned next? And how am I preparing for this massive change that is set to make history for retail, consumers, shopping, our economy, and our lives unlike ever before. So in the last couple of years, the cryptocurrency industry has come out of the shadows and entered the mainstream realm of finance. And although the sector has seen incredible popularity, adoption remains relatively slow. Paying for day-to-day -day essentials using cryptocurrencies continues to stay out of reach, or is it really? Well, according to nowpayments.io, there are high chances that Walmart will be accepting cryptocurrencies soon as their, at the time, CFO, Brett Biggs, mentioned in December of 2021 that the company was open to allowing shoppers to pay in cryptocurrency if customers demanded it. So let me tell you a little bit about Biggs. So Brett Biggs is the former executive vice president and chief financial officer for Walmart. Prior to that, Brett served as Chief Financial Officer for Walmart International, Walmart U.S., and Sam's Club, Senior Vice President of International Strategy, Mergers and Acquisitions, Senior Vice President of Corporate Finance, and Senior Vice President of Operations for Sam's Club. Before joining Walmart in the year 2000, Brett held various M&A and corporate finance positions with Leggett and Platt, Phillips Petroleum Co. and Price Waterhouse. And it was reported in November of the same year in which Biggs made that statement that Walmart's longtime chief financial officer, Brett Biggs, was leaving the company. And in a news release, the company said Biggs will remain in the role until its successor is named. Help with the transition and depart the company on January 31, 2023. And he will also remain a board member of Walmart's fintech startup, which is a joint venture with Ribbit Capital through the transition. Well, that was just about a month ago, folks. And here we are today. And now the investment firm that was founded in 2012 by Mayor Malka and headquartered in Palo Alto, California, Ribbit Capital, a venture capital firm that invests in early stage companies, a firm that invests globally in individuals and brands who are aiming to disrupt financial services says it takes money to change money. According to what appears to be a mission statement plastered on their homepage of their website, right next to a man jumping off of a cliff without a parachute reads, our goal isn't just to write checks, it's to deposit and grow ideas. We look at finance with a hungry eye for change and with a desire to share our learning and experience, including some painful mistakes along the way with ambitious entrepreneurs. Well, folks, prepare for that painful mistake that they made reference to. And although Walmart's store fulfilled delivery sales nearly tripled in two years, according to RetailDive.com, 
Walmart's store fulfilled delivery sales have nearly tripled over the last two years, and the company is now seeing more than $1 billion a month in that category. And Walmart's replacement CFO and also executive vice president John David Rainey had this to say on the company's Q4 earnings call just a few days ago. The retailer has been expanding its store-based delivery capabilities in recent years amid the e-commerce boom, with more than 3,900 Walmart U.S. stores now offering same-day delivery out of 4,717 locations overall. And Walmart U.S. isn't the only company segment benefiting from increased delivery activity. E-commerce sales at Sam's Club jumped 21% year over year in Q4, Rainey said, and I quote, with contributions from both curbside and ship to home, end quote. But get this, folks, Walmart announced they will begin to participate in Raymond James Institutional Investors Conference, and Walmart announced today that John David Rainey, executive vice president and chief financial officer of Walmart Incorporated, will participate in a discussion at the Raymond James Institutional Investors Conference on Tuesday, March 7 at 10.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, it appears as though the session will be webcast live through an events link at stock.walmart.com and a transcript of the session will be made available after the event and will be archived on the company's website. So if you'd like me to or want to see me do a full dissection, review, and breakdown for you, please comment below and let me know. Maybe I could even schedule a live stream screen share and we can watch the entire meeting together and dive into it in real time to get some better answers to all the questions that I'm sure we all have. So why is this so important? Well, let me tell you. Walmart's new CFO and executive VP was previously PayPal's chief financial officer. And Mr. John Rainey said while working in this role at PayPal that there is a high likelihood for BTC or Bitcoin to become a popular payment option during an interview with the Wall Street Journal. And he referenced what he called the crypto factor. Oh boy, folks, time to fire up your Coinbase accounts and get those digital and cold storage Ledger Nano X wallets ready for use. Direct from NowPayments.io, it states that the recent cryptocurrency craze and the growing interest in digital assets among the general population triggered a new wave of companies accepting cryptocurrencies as a form of payment. Perhaps Tesla is the most prominent example of a major brand that embraced crypto payments. It is unclear whether the trend of well-established companies adopting digital assets is here to stay, but it is quite likely that we will see several new companies announcing their crypto plans in the near future. And Walmart is the name that the media frequently associates with crypto adoption. Although Walmart does not offer its clients the option to pay with crypto, some experts believe that the company may start doing it soon. And so my question for you all is, are you ready, folks? Is this the end of the dollar at Walmart as we know it? Do you want to have to use crypto and Bitcoin to buy your groceries and extremely high priced eggs when you shop at Walmart from now on? Well, as we all know, Walmart is one of the biggest names in the retail industry and the company does not feature crypto payments at the moment. Yet there is strong evidence of supporting crypto. Walmart might begin to accept crypto payments at some point that might come relatively soon. Heck, Back in September of 2021, the news about Walmart accepting Litecoin broke the internet and the value of the cryptocurrency rose by 20% when a press release was published online that said that the retailer was partnering with Litecoin to bring crypto payments to its stores. Although the whole situation is still in development, there are a significant amount of crypto investors around the world that think there is still some hope. And perhaps Walmart's CFO and executive vice president, John David Rainey, alongside CEO Doug McMillan, will surprise us with this upcoming meeting and the announcements that could be made during the broadcast on March 7. Now, I honestly can't wait to see where this all goes, folks. And remember my three pillars, diversity, security and cash flow. And even back in 2021, Walmart was, in fact, considering venturing into the crypto sphere. 
the news about the matter spread in August of 2021, and such rumors spread after the company's recent job postings for the position of digital currency and cryptocurrency product lead was discovered. Essentially, Walmart was looking for a person who would be able to design a strategy on how the company could approach crypto. And according to the job description, the company wanted to find a person who would be able to identify crypto related investments and partnerships. So that should tell you all something there. And Walmart has already had experience with integrating blockchain technology in its operations. Several years ago, the company partnered with IBM to create a private blockchain system for controlling and managing the supply chain of the retailer. And the results after the implementation of the technology showed that the blockchain had a positive effect on the performance of the company. And this indicates that Walmart has staff familiar with the concept of blockchain and its basic principles. And in January of 2022, just last year, CNBC shared that Walmart is entering the metaverse via creating its own cryptocurrency and NFTs or non-fungible tokens. In their statement, Walmart emphasized the importance of emerging technologies and ways they may shape future shopping experiences. So all I can say is get ready, folks, and tell your family to prepare. Folks, I truly hope you all find this information helpful, educational, and useful. And I look forward to seeing you all back here again on my next video. Don't forget, there are some very valuable and 100% free links in the description down below and also a link to get free stocks. So if you like free money, make sure you get yours now. All you have to do is open an account with Moomoo and they will give you free stock. And for all the members of the Patreon, I'm posting more content about the upcoming changes to the dollar, money, central banks, the economy, and most importantly, how I'm leveraging and positioning myself my family and my businesses to stay secure, grow, and see growth in ROI, returns on investments, with all the changes that are happening around us every single day. All of you are welcome to join if you care to have access to this information. Unfortunately, based on the sensitivity of the information I am sharing, the level of censorship that I receive on a regular basis, as well as monitoring and scrutiny that is inherently associated with this platform, my hands are ultimately tied. So see you guys over there. Now, I will make sure to drop a link in the description for all those interested in having access to this exclusive and important information. And please, everyone, make an investment in the like button and help me reach my goal of hitting 70,000 subscribers soon. All of you hoping to share these videos is paying off in sharing these important updates, the facts, the warning signs, and most importantly, how to prepare and the truth. You all take care and be safe. And until next time, I am youtube.com forward slash at Kevin 24 seven Kevin Prepper or just plain old Kevin in all caps. And I'll see you all real soon. Take care.